Also, this is slightly crooked. I hate that. <laughs> I don't know how to fix that. That's almost better. Wait. Getting closer. No! So close. <laughs> Intent zoom! Okay. There. Fixed it! Alright! I'm Eco. Bonnie. <laughs> no. No. Oh, no. You, you have a name! Wrong. You have a name! <laughs> Bonaventura. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Do it again. Ventura, and we're doing an after theater review of Valerians and the super long title that's ridiculous and should be a lot shorter. It should just be put out Valerians. Plan of a thousand. No. Suns? Moons? No. <laughs> Third rock from the sun. It's a thousand planets. <laughs> it's the city of a thousand planets. Yay! We Yay. nailed it! Did it. Yay. So, um, we saw this movie, what, two weeks ago? Three weeks ago? Perhaps. Like yeah. It was a while ago. Yeah. And, um, it was leaving the theater, so we had to travel quite a distance. But, yeah. It was, yeah. I think it was worth it. It was absolutely worth it. So, uh, let's see. You, what, you can tell them the plot of the movie. Okay. <laughs> well, it's about two agents of the military the intergalactic military that are sent on a mission to get the last being of its species. Okay. And... That sums it up. <laughs> yeah. And, what did you say, galactic shenanigans? It, yeah, intergalactic, <laughs> intergalactic shenanigans. It's used. Yeah. Yeah. That happens. So, uh, let's see. In short, this is a fun movie. Oh my gosh, it's so much fun. And I feel like people should have said more positive things about it. Yeah, it was a great movie. I loved it. So, I guess let's talk about what we liked about the movie. <laughs> Alright, first off, the intro. The intro was amazing. Yes. It starts <laughs> off with the space station that we have today. Or, you know, like in the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> and like humans meeting humans on it slowly becomes more human-alien hybrid and then more alien. And the space station just gets larger and larger. They play awesome music. Yeah, it's That's like great. America. It's amazing. I and like a spaceship. <laughs> so like first off you get super sucked in. Also can we talk about how the um, director, also the director of Fifth Element. Because Fifth Element's amazing. Yes. <laughs> Love it. And if you haven't seen it, what are you doing with your life? Go watch it. It's great. I love <laughs> it. <laughs> no, but it definitely has the same atmosphere of the fifth element. Like where it's gritty, but not super gritty. Yeah, it's very bright and colorful and yeah. Like it's dirty, but in a fun way. Yeah. Dirty's fun. It's not a, I guess... It's not Blade Runner. No, it's not Blade Runner. It's not Robocop. <laughs> no. It's like Blade Runner and Robocop if they were made with, like, fun, colorful rubber. Fun, <laughs> colorful rubber. <laughs> Everything looks super rubbery. It did in The Fifth Element, too. Yeah. I'll watch that again and look at the rubberness, I guess. Yeah. That's so much fun. Um, I like the variety of characters. Yes. Um, I guess I'll save my grievances with the main cast, like the main two yeah, characters. Yeah, we'll save that for the stuff that we but don't like. But for the most part, I like, uh, what was it, Loreline? I like her the more, yeah, I like- Loreline. Yeah, she Loreline. Cara Delevingne, I liked her the most, even though I have a crush on Dame Dawn, but- <laughs> <laughs> I liked Bob. Bob was fine. Bob. Oh, Bob. <laughs> Bob was he has such a small part. There's so- you meet so many characters, but they all have such small parts. Yeah. But it's okay. And, uh... Also, I did not know that Chris Wu from EXO, well, he used to be EXO, was in it. The uh, Asian guy that you said was pretty cool. Oh my gosh, he was so <laughs> hot. I love him. So, yeah, I was like, 
when did you show up in this movie? Why didn't I know about it? Normally it'll be like, hey, this and is going to be in this movie. <laughs> and he had a much bigger part than I was expecting him yeah. to have. He kind of had a bigger part in this movie compared to Triple X. So don't watch it. It's pretty boring. <laughs> watch this movie. I'm yeah. Sad. And uh, what was Rihanna's character's name? Bubbles. Bubbles. I liked her character. I liked her character at first. Yeah. She had a very interesting... She was a very interesting character. Yeah. I liked her performance. Like her dance performance. Her performance was amazing. Yes. Also, Ethan Hawke's in this. Yeah. <laughs> As a Jolly the Pimp. The best name ever. And yes. he was super fun. Until he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he kind of had like this uh, drunk... Yeah, like a drunk pirate pimp kind of vibe. Yeah, I guess that's a good way to describe it. He was fun, Smarmy. Um, I liked the action a lot. Yes. I thought it was, like, I don't know. It kept you, like, involved and, like, entertained, and it wasn't, like, over the top or too violent or too cartoony. Yeah, it was a lot... It was a lot like watching somebody play a video game. There was one part especially where... One of the main characters is running through this city, and it looked awesome. Like, he had this gun, he was shooting it at things, he was breaking through walls with his super galactic space suit. I loved it. It was great. And I like the uh, space car chase type thing. Too. Yeah. He, like, <laughs> shot all these things that looked like tramplines that he jumped across this, like, chasm with. Oh, it looked there's, awesome. There's lots of good action parts, so there's like, it's enough action to keep you, I don't know, hooked. <laughs> yeah, you definitely don't get bored, you're not looking at your watch during this movie. Um, um, I guess we kind of said something about the beginning, um, well, not the beginning, beginning uh, with the uh, different types of aliens, but the part after with the, uh, is it after? Yeah. The main alien race that they're like looking for uh, the creature and stuff. Yeah. They, even though um, you mentioned something, I mean, elf camera that they kind of look avatar-ish. Yes. But I still thought they looked really pretty. They were. They were awesome. They, they look like a bunch of models. Yeah. That have been stretched out. And I'm like, I wish I could be on an island as beautiful as theirs and just rub my face in pearls and just be like, yeah. I, I, I woke up like this. <laughs> They're little armadillo creatures that sit on their shoulders yeah. and make pearls. That's awesome. And they really made you, I don't know, care about those creatures a lot during that introduction, at least for me. Yeah, so definitely. it's like, no, get in the spaceship, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you felt really, really bad for them. Uh, also, I mean, even though the visuals were rubbery, I really like visuals. Yeah, I yeah. really liked, I like that aspect of the visuals. I like that about Fifth Element, too. Very, it was colorful enough when it needed to be colorful, and it was dark enough when it needed to be dark, and I liked all the costume choices, too. Yeah, the costumes were amazing. My, fa my favorite part was when they were walking through the red light district. Oh, yes. That was, like, the highlight of the movie, It I was think. so cool, you guys. There's all different types of, uh, I guess... God, should I call them prostitutes? It's I mean, it's what they like were. Ladies of the evening. <laughs> they weren't all ladies either. No. It was kind of like a, a fun time at a drag show and a gay bar. Like, all yeah, like it was you awesome. don't know what you're going to get, but they all look fabulous and you want to like hang out with them no matter what. And I loved all of Rihanna's costumes. Yeah. They all she looked was, great. She looked gorgeous. There was like some person, I don't even remember if it was a guy or a girl, that was dressed like a peacock and that yep. looked great too. And some of them were... One, I think one of them was an alien too. I mean, I yeah, know. they all they all looked great. All ex all inclusive red luck light yeah. district. <laughs> well, and that was something that I liked about a lot of his films is that you have that you have like the you know it's set in the future, so a lot of the ethnicities are a lot more ambiguous, and that's pretty cool. And that kind of like social, like the social issues are really like progressive and that's really neat too. For the future, let's hope. Yes. 
Let's hope that eventually there's a big city in space that all the aliens live on. Yeah. Like in New York City. I just want to walk on the beach like this. <laughs> <laughs> and pinch my cheeks and be like, yes, I'm done. <laughs> Um, uh, I'll probably mention this later too, but I kind of like the comedy. Yeah, it was, it was funny. Yeah. Um, our favorite character with the dresses. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's just this one scene, it's not a spoiler or anything, where they come across this really big alien that they're trying, I guess, to find what kind of food to feed him or whatever, and, um, they capture a, a Borlene's character and trying to like, I guess, dress her up for said party and yeah, just <laughs> yeah, like it's great. This, this alien is trying so hard to help her be enthusiastic about picking on yeah. dress, and I'm sure she doesn't understand English at all because she's just like, I need to get out <laughs> and just dress up like, to dress. It's yeah, pretty dress. <laughs> yeah. What about this one? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's definitely great. There's a lot of dad humor in this. Yes. The whole time I was watching it, I was like, oh, my dad would be super into this movie. It's got a bunch of that derp humor in it. But it's fun. Yeah, it's fun derp humor that doesn't make you, like, face palm like this yeah, is Yeah, so you're not going to groan. <laughs> but you didn't realize that your dad will enjoy this. Yeah. And your dad did enjoy it. Oh my gosh, he loved it. <laughs> um, my mom wanted to see it, but it's a little too late, so... When it, comes, yeah, when it comes out on DVD, I'll definitely pick it up and let her watch it. Maybe I'll watch it with her, too. Yeah. Um, are there any other things that we really liked, I guess? Um, <laughs> let's see. I love the story was okay. Yeah, I was, I liked the mystery of it. I mean, like, you know who the bad guy is. Yeah. They don't... Yeah, that was kind of a uh, given. It's like, this has been done before, <laughs> but it's still entertaining. Enough. Yes, it was super entertaining. It wasn't some profound movie, but you'll enjoy it. Okay, so things we didn't like about the movie. <laughs> okay, like this is a testament to how much I didn't like this character. I can't even remember what the main character guy's name is. Valerian. Valerian. That's right. He's named in the title! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? Valerian is a type of herb that puts you to sleep. Yeah. And I'm just gonna put that out there. Yeah, I already said that I thought I would like <laughs> Valerian's character because I have a crush on Dane DeHaan and ended up liking Lorelai a lot more even though I just only have a crush on her eyebrows because they're pretty uh, they're fierce. Out there. But he could have just been better. I feel like somebody told him to sound exactly like Keanu Reeves the entire time, and he was just like, oh yeah, Keanu Reeves from Point Break. Let's do that. Yeah. And he did it. And it was terrible. Like, I thought he was okay, but he could have been, I guess, better. Yeah. Like, it was, like, I liked that he was struggling with being more intimate with Loreline and he had like a jerk kind of persona but then sometimes I'm like I'm kind of bored with your character. Yeah well in a segue from that I did not like how they had really gross like female stereotypes in the movie. Like he kept making fun of Loreline's driving. Yeah. Like you could tell that it that this is like the initial like Valerian comic kind of came out in that regard where it's like uh I'm not super into making fun of women drivers yeah like hundreds of years in the future I'd hope that we moved on from that yeah I'm sure like maybe five or ten people like that still right. exist back then I don't think it'll be completely erased but yeah I didn't really think about that but yeah that was kind of yeah annoying. I was like okay we get it well, I guess on the flip side, like, he was the playboy. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. It's... Well, and that's another mm -hmm. thing is, like, you know, it's an older comic. So the whole, mm -hmm. like, I'm a jackass, but you still love me. Yeah. Is kind of irritating. I mean, it was okay when Han Solo did it because, you know, that movie came out a while ago. Yeah. But in this one, it's just like, uh, you are not bringing anything to this relationship. Yeah. Well, I think they also try to balance that, like, I guess, sexism out with her comeback being, like, a strong woman, but it was yeah. still kind of, like, eh. Now, Laura Lee's definitely <laughs> a, a strong female character. She goes and, like, rescues him first. Yep. And that's cool. She 
puts her life on the line because she likes him, but really he's kind of a douche. And he's her partner. Yeah, so that's like, you. Like it's, they like, have, it's my duty to go find you, but I, I do deep downside like you even though I don't want to admit that I have yeah. feels. <laughs> well, and I do like, I like them more as as partner, like agent partners, than I did as relationship, relationship. partners. Yeah. Yeah, I th they worked really well as as agents. I think the only like reason I probably kind of believe that they could be on an intimate level is because I've seen that dynamic all the time where it's like this person's a jerk and this person is like trying to break down that wall. And it's, yeah. I've seen that so much and it's just kind of become the norm, which is sad. It, de it definitely is. Which you can tell like He's definitely the maverick loose cannon, and she's like the I go by the rules. But then at the end, he's all like, I'm a soldier, and I go by the rules. And I'm like, you just punched a guy. No, you don't. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, let's see. Not a spoiler, but one fight scene with Rihanna with, <laughs> with that big giant oh. alien with the food. It For me, it felt like... When you are playing a video game and you have like that NPC character that just spits out commentary, that was like a little annoying. Yeah, well, and like for some reason, there's I didn't notice it as much, but my husband definitely noticed that there was a whole bunch of ARD in this movie. And with uh, I definitely noticed it in that fight scene with Rihanna because her voice was way louder than it should have been, and given yeah. she's an alien, so. Of course, everything in that is going to be ARD'd with her. It was still, like, it really took you out of the moment because she's yeah. just constantly saying nonsense stuff. Yeah. Like, oh, don't hit a lady, and all this. It's just, like, just let me enjoy the fight scene because you're taking me out of that moment. Yeah, and she was very overprotective of, of Laureline, even though she didn't really even know her. I think it was, the logic was like, oh, well, this person that saved me cares about this person, so I'm going to care, care about yeah. her, too. I don't know. I wish there was more time with Rihanna's character, Bubbles, because she was really interesting. Yeah, and I wish that I wish that she had had a better storyline. Yeah. It would have been interesting to see where she ended up. Because she was like a uh, an in, like an illegal alien, like literally. She and had a very topical storyline. Yeah. <laughs> so it would have been nice to like hang out with her a little bit longer. Yeah, because the because it was so quick, it made it feel like more hacky. You know, like yeah. Or let's just cash in on Rihanna's popularity right here. Like, oh, we have Rihanna in this movie, so let's just stick her in here for a few minutes, and, uh... Yeah. Yeah, that's it, guys. <laughs> yeah. Another thing that was hard to... to... really believe their relationship is that Laureleen and Valerian look so similar to each other. Yeah. That it's like, are you guys twins? Are you guys gonna find out that you're related to each other? <laughs> what <I> mean, a twist! <laughs> They did, they looked, they were the same height, they looked exactly the same, they didn't look exactly the same. Honestly, when I saw the trailer for this, I thought they were siblings. I did too. <laughs> like, so, <laughs> to find out that they were, like, not siblings, I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, and it's not their fault that they look so much alike, no. but they look really similar to each other. Yeah. Oh, you know what, going back to things that we did like. Yeah, I was kind of thinking of something too. <laughs> we'll do the we'll do the sandwich where it's like, yeah. oh, <laughs> these are things that we didn't like. I absolutely loved the alternate universe, big, like bizarre. Oh, the marketplace. Thing. Yeah, I didn't like that they dressed up like they were going to Coachella to go to it, <laughs> but I thought that the bizarre was really an interesting aspect where they go to this like place in the middle of the desert. It's completely empty. But then when they put on these glasses, they can see this alternate dimension that's this huge, like, city. Yeah. And that was pretty cool. I like the those two, like, that couple, the older couple, that they're totally relatable to, like, nowadays, that couple that's just like, oh, we gotta check out these and buy all the souvenirs! And it's like, oh, and but honey, <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah, and the husband's like, uh... But again, those are stereotypes. <laughs> but... 
It's a funny stereotype, yeah, it, I think. Well, and, like, she looks... I kept thinking, you know, I kept waiting to see people from The Fifth Element in that movie because, like, there's some parts of it that pay homages to the, um, the characters from The Fifth Element. Like, there's one point where Laureline says, do you understand the words that are oh. coming out of her mouth? <laughs> Which Chris Tucker didn't say as no. Ruby Rod, but it still made you think of them. Yeah. Um, I guess the one thing that I forgot to mention in the positives is something that you mentioned too, uh, off camera, was how androgynous the aliens were yes. that we are supposed to care about. Because there was maybe a couple of char- like, yeah, there was a couple of characters where, like, I was like, oh, I thought you were a woman because of, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then the prince character kind of has, like, a, I guess, stereotypical, almost feminine voice, but... Yeah. All, all of that race of alien are very androgynous, but you I can really tell like that, yeah. <laughs> you can tell the difference between between them by looking at their waists. Yeah, because <laughs> the lady ones have very tiny waists. But that was nice because like you could see, like there were there were babies too, and oh my gosh, the babies were adorable. Yes, and there were a couple of dads holding babies, and that was nice. Yeah, I guess to balance out the uh, so uh, that old sexism rule. But yeah, uh, right. we got a alien dad holding an alien oh, baby. Holding <laughs> an alien baby. It was it was nice. I noticed it, and I appreciated it. Um. Let's see. Um, well, I guess we kind of already said a little bit of negative that the story was a little stereotypical and predictable, but still enjoyable. Yeah, I mean, like, I wasn't super, I mean, I like Laureline. I wasn't super into the main, the main characters, but, like, the storyline and, like, the visuals made, more than made up for it. Yeah. And it wasn't that I hated it. It just wasn't my favorite thing about the movie, which you would think that your main characters would be yeah. your favorite thing about the movie. But they were okay. <laughs> yeah, they weren't bad. I didn't hate it. No, but I didn't really care enough about them as I did about the uh, introductory alien race. Yeah. Like, I cared about them a lot more. Oh, yeah. Um, let's see. Well, and it was kind of like a mystery thing where, you know, they're, they're sent to do this one thing, and then when they get it, they're supposed to, when they fulfill their mission, they're supposed to go and do this other thing, and then it becomes a mystery of, like, oh, what's this? And they have to figure that out. And so it seemed, it felt like a mystery. I don't know. There was a whole bunch, there was a very interesting plot line going on that was engaging, even if some of the characters weren't. Yeah. There were maybe a couple spots that it dragged a little bit, where I'm just like, I wish we could just progress to the next thing already. Why are we still lingering here? Um, uh, I guess the costume thing. I tried not to laugh every time I saw those guards, uh, at the gate with the big giant helmets. <laughs> I don't know, I just kept thinking of Spaceballs. <laughs> I love Spaceballs. With um, Vic Moranis and the big giant Vader helmet. That's yeah. all I can think of. I'm like, dark you, helmet. It's like, couldn't you have thought of a better, like, helmet design? I mean, I know they kind of made fun of it at the beginning when they were going to the desert place. Like, yeah. they're like, nice good headgear, but I kind of thought the same thing during this serious moment of we could blow up the planet or whatever moment, and I'm like, I yeah. can't with these helmets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, we didn't even talk about the three, like, the three little bird guys. Little bird guys. They were pretty funny. Oh, yeah, those three little bird guys. Yeah, they they really advanced the plot. They were, like, the comic relief for yeah. a lot of it. Everybody knows them. They try to sell their knowledge. Yep. Nobody cares. <laughs> and then they split up their knowledge among the three of them. Yeah, I think part of their scene was where I was just like, I don't really get why this is in here. When they yeah. were when in that submarine thing. I think that they they were trying to show that Laureline was more invested in Valerian than she appeared to be. Hmm. Like I think that it was supposed to make like build up her character. But it just felt like a side, like a side mission. Yeah. 
because I'm like, it didn't really, for me, go anywhere. It felt like extra. And it's yeah. like, now let's go find the jellyfish. Let me tell you about these creatures down here for a while. And we'll never see these people again. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Bob. But at least we got to meet Bob. Yeah, Bob was cool. No burgers, but Bob was cool. No. <laughs> I, I did like that they played Bob Marley music when he said his name was Bob. Yeah. For no reason. We already said the music was good, right? The music was yeah, good. Yeah, the music let's was just, great. Let's just say the music was good, then. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else that we could have had problems with, maybe? Uh, I wish the, uh, I don't know what his rank was, the second command person of the ship, I wish... The guy under Clive Villain? Yeah, I wish he kind of stood out more. Like, have more of a personality than... He just seemed super generic for me. Yeah, he was just like a sad character that was between a rock and a hard place. Yeah, it's like, let me, like, give out orders. I mean, this person is evil. Maybe not. I don't know. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I liked the two, like, officers under him, though. Yeah. They were pretty cool. Yay. <laughs> oh, um, another off-camera thing that you said that you, uh, I guess in comparison to Fifth Element, that you wish there was more, um, diversity. Yeah. Like Fifth Element. I really liked, and Fifth Element came out ages ago, but they made a point to make a lot of the, like, humans be really ethnically ambiguous. Like, yeah. the ones that come to mind, I mean, like, not the main characters, sadly, but the, you know, like, all of the flight attendants, yeah. and a lot of the people that were just around. It was really interesting, and they didn't do that as much here. I definitely noticed all of the white guys in this yeah. movie. So many white guys. Hashtag too many white guys. <laughs> too many white guys. <laughs> So that was that was a bit disappointing, but a lot of the main characters, uh, again, not the totally main characters, but a lot of the people that are around the whole movie are like ethnically ambiguous. Yeah. It's, but like I guess that could also be somewhat a tiny problem, especially since the beginning they introduced all these different kinds of people and aliens. And I think a friend of a friend mentioned African aliens, but <laughs> like it, it, but I guess it would have been nice to have more ethnicities, human and alien yeah, I represented. Guess. <laughs> Especially since he did it before, he could have done it again. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping, even though it, it probably won't happen because it got. I guess mixed reviews and not so good box office scores. Supposedly. Which is a I shame. Want, I want another one. <laughs> I know. I love that. I love that futuristic vibe that that he has. And by he, I mean like, this song. <laughs> this song. I'm not. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm not gonna try to say it. Yeah. That guy. We'll put his name somewhere. Yeah. Probably here. That's great. <laughs> we loved it. Yeah. Um. Is there any, like, spoiler things that we need to talk about, or...? Um... No, I don't want to... Like, it was good. <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything. Okay, because I would do a spoiler warning <laughs> if we do want to talk about any, like, problematic or really outstanding things. <laughs> um, not a spoiler. Let's see. I think that that's good enough without spoiling anything. Yeah. I don't think that, I mean, because it's such a fluff movie, like, there's not a lot that that would warrant spoiling. Like, you see it, it's definitely something that you probably should have seen in the theater. Yeah, because uh, the big screen just makes it even more, I guess, intense and beautiful. It's <laughs> definitely, like, I would say that it's 70... I mean, the plot's not bad, but it's definitely 70% visuals, 30% plot. It yeah. looked it looked pretty. But there is a plot. <laughs> and there is a plot, and it's really good. But the visuals make this movie. Yeah, definitely. Well, I mean, you can even say that even Fifth Element, it's kind of has a standard plot. But yeah. the visuals really make it... Um, yeah, stand it, out more. Yeah, it definitely <laughs> stands out because of the visuals and because of the world building. They did a really good job with world building. I'm going to continue to keep my fingers crossed for a sequel because I'm like, 
there's so many not so good movies that get sequels and I'm just like, but why? I know, this is so much more pretty to look at and I guess like and just as equally fluffy as any of the Fast and Furious movies. Yeah. It's like Resident Evil had a bunch of sequels. It didn't need it. This movie needs another sequel. I want to give it another I want people to give it another chance. Yeah. So, um, I guess we can either rate it or I mean it's kind of obvious we really like this movie. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, the whole time I was watching it, I was thinking of all the people that I'm going to make watch this movie. <laughs> I'm currently, as we're filming this, contemplating whether I need to buy this on Blu-ray or not, because I'm like, you know, this was pretty good, and I kind of want to add it to the collection, because I, even though it has its problems, I thought it was really good, and it deserves more love. <laughs> yeah, I'm hoping that it ends up like The Fifth Element, where it's just constantly on TBS all the time. Yeah, and hey, I guess, isn't like Fifth Element almost like a semi-cult classic, you know? Yeah, way? <laughs> it is, it totally is. Yay! We were really <laughs> sad when we found out that one of our co-workers didn't like Fifth Element yeah. and watched it. And that's what, when I went into this movie, Valerian, I tried to think of it as I the way that I thought about Fifth Element when I watched it when I was a kid. Because I definitely saw that movie when I was like 12 or 13. And so I was like, I'm going to go into Valerian with that mindset. So watch it as if you're 13 and you'll really enjoy it. Yeah. You'll just be like, wow, look at all the pretty colors. <laughs> it looks great. And you know you're at that age where you don't realize if something's bad or not. You just think all movies are good because why would they be movies if they weren't good? <laughs> That should be a tagline. <laughs> Bonnie's philosophy to movies. <laughs> Why would they make it if it was okay? No, I totally get it though. I get why you probably wouldn't like Fifth Element if you saw it in 2017 as a 30 year old. Yeah. But if you watch it as a 13 year old, it's a great movie. So pretty much just regress. Yes. <laughs> just go back in time and be 13 again. Yeah. Or I guess, um, probably was maybe 9 or 10. Yeah. <laughs> so. But I think that even a 9 or 10 year old would love Fifth Element. It's yeah. great. I mean, I loved it, but I was a weird kid. But yeah. it was great. <laughs> I still love it. Yeah. Because it's a classic. Even taking out the nostalgia, it's it's so fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard not to have fun with review. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. Uh, I guess if I had to give it, like, my standard rating I would do on my blog, I'd probably give Valerian maybe a three and a half or a four. <laughs> yeah, I'd definitely give it a four. It does definitely have flaws. Yes. But it's so much fun to watch that you, it makes up for it. Plus it makes me want more of it. Yes. So. I could definitely see putting this on TV whenever. Or, Just as a background, like, if it's on then I'll watch it. And maybe, I think, did you mention something about maybe this being like a TV show or something? Yeah. Like, I could it, like it would be a good TV show? It definitely If would. they wanted to do that. This is, actually, you know, I didn't say this during the review, but this maybe reminds me of a mashup of Star Wars and Star Trek. Oh, yeah. So, it's definitely already, like, I would say that it's more like Star Trek because it's a a group of people and aliens coming together on one starship, but it's a city out in space instead of a starship. Yeah. Which is technically a starship, if you think about it. <laughs> yeah. This is Star Trek. It's <laughs> with a sprinkle of stars. <laughs> it's a gritty, a gritty rubbery Star Trek. <laughs> with actual aliens instead of just people with like Sharpie written on their face. <laughs> Sharpie. That'll be my next Halloween costume. <laughs> You're like, I'm from Star Trek, you didn't know it's... I've got Sharpie, Sharpie and, like, pointy ears. <laughs> Costume <laughs> Um, I kind of want to maybe check out the comic book, even though I flip through the pages and I'm like, I'm not digging this art style, but that's because it's, like, old-ish. But, I mean, I'll probably try to power through to see what the story is like. Yeah, it'd definitely be interesting to see how much they kept in this movie and how much they added. And it looks like, uh, from what I can tell through just flipping through the pages, that the main character is a little older, too. Yeah. 
Yeah, these kids, I don't know if it's because, like, I'm older now, but they both look like they were 14. Yeah. Even though I'm sure they're, like, our age. So, yeah. <laughs> I think they are, because I looked up Dane DeHaan's age after Cure for Wellness. I'm like, how old are you, sir? Um, are you marriage potential? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so, uh... Check out Valerian. Yes. Um, whenever it comes, it comes out on DVD and Blu-ray in October. Yes. From what Bonnie says. That's what Amazon told me. Okay, Amazon says that it comes out in October. So we'll be see. there, buy it, check it out, be amazed, tell us your thoughts. Um, I guess that's the end of our review. Yeah. I'm so happy that I got to do a review with Yay. you. Maybe we can do more of these whenever we get a chance. Um, I know Perhaps. one of Montero is probably going to be taking a bit of a hiatus. The flu one. <laughs> <laughs> Which is perfectly fine. We're going to I'm going to miss her. Because <laughs> we work together. But, I mean, I'll check on her every now and then. Yep, that's what we do. So, <laughs> um, if you like this video and you want to see more after theater videos and other stuff that I put up on this channel, please subscribe below and check out the other videos I put on this channel and we will see you next time. Peace. <laughs>